Hey everybody, Orr here, and today I'm going to show you how to make BeatScholar's multi-output mode work in Cubase. So let's get going. I have Cubase open here, and I'm going to add an instrument track. It's already set to BeatScholar. Now it opens up. Let's see that it plays. Sounds good. Super slow tempo. Uh, let's do <laughs> not 199. Let's do 100. Magic tempo. Right, cool. So first thing I'm going to do is go to the bottom right over here, to the stereo toggle, and then change it to multi-mode. Close it up, and in studio, go to VST Instruments, and click this little arrow right here. Very intuitive. Now you'll see all of the Beats Caller's uh, outputs mapped here. Um, and then I can just go ahead and click all outputs. So that would make sure that I get all these in separate tracks. Cool. Close this, so I can just go here and press this little arrow over here, and I can see all my tracks open up. Let's press play. You can see the meters popping up next to every drum track that's being played right now. That's very cool. Now, one thing that's important to note that is that if I solo this track right here, called Beats Call, it's the main track, it will now play the auxiliary outputs. So that's our plate reverb and basically every drum that's being sent to our uh, reverbs. Uh, but seeing as how I have uh, multi-out enabled, I'll probably want to use my own processing. So I'm going to go ahead and turn them off by opening Beats Caller back up. Click the preset menu and then go to enable, the submenu enable, and then turn off auxiliary. You'll see them grayed out. And if I press play, you won't hear the effects. So... Accordingly, this track will now be empty. So I can go ahead and mute it. Um, and now I can have some fun. I can go to the snare channel and something I like doing sometimes, like use an octaver on it. Give it this kind of heavy, heavy hitting feel. Maybe some distortion. Uh, let's go to this. This guy might know something. Yeah, and you can go like this over every track and kind of process it your own way uh, and have a lot of fun. So hopefully you'll enjoy exploring Beats Caller with multi-output mode enabled and kind of see where it takes you and see you next time or whatever people say at the end of these videos.